I read that you helped organize the first college rodeo at Mississippi State. That's true. You know, it wasn't my doing. I just happened to be president of the Block and Bridal Club that year, and the club wanted to have the rodeo and whatnot. But being president, I had to go over and talk to the president of the university, you know, and convince him that he should let us have the rodeo, which he very graciously did. And so we put on the first college rodeo at Miss in Mississippi. Did you compete as well? I did, but not very well. <laughs> I was in the bareback riding and the bull riding. You know, those are the two events that you have to have very little equipment and talent to do. <laughs> so I got into bareback riding. My bareback horse was about to tear the chute up. My mother was up in the stands hollering to my daddy to go down there and get me off the horse. He was just hollering, go Bates. <laughs> so. I'm really grateful you survived your rodeo career. <laughs> A lot of people are. <laughs> what were your parents like? Uh, my parents were wonderful, you know, uh, my mother, I don't, if there's a Hall of Fame for mothers, she's got to be up the top of it. And bless her heart, she loved me unconditionally all of my life, regardless of all the dumb things that I did. And my daddy, he was just a pillar of strength, you know, he didn't, he didn't say much, you know, they have that old deal that when E.F. Hutton speaks, everybody listens, well that was George Wells long before E.F. Hutton. He's a man of very few words, but everybody knew where he stood and that they could depend on him. Sounds a lot like you. Well, I don't know about that. I hope so. 